Good morning. I think the plan for today is to have a pretty chill beach day, and we're going to start at the nearby Karong Karong Beach. Beach was not quite what we expected. I don't know if it was just because it was low tide, but that meant it wasn't possible to really go swimming. Clearly, we weren't really meant to be there at this point because there was no one really laying out on the beach or doing any kind of water activity. It was just a bunch of locals. Plus, all the establishments seemed to be closed. So we decided to come back to the hotel and regroup. As much as we try and plan and make sure we do as thorough research as we possibly can prior to going everywhere, sometimes stuff just doesn't shake out for one reason or another. It's not quite what you expect or what you get told or whatever. And so as a result, you just have to accept it and move on, especially if you've got limited time and resources in order to get stuff done. Like, to be completely transparent, I've been feeling very off all day. It's no one's fault. Nothing's really happened to make me feel that way. It's just I don't feel right. Um, and so this has just felt especially demoralizing to the point where I just don't feel up to much. But we'll see what we can do. I'm sorry, Don. It's OK. I feel like it's, first of all, brave of Nick to share this. And I think it's really important to put it out there that not everything is perfect when you're traveling. Things are going to go wrong. It is expected. And as you said, I think that's good. You have to accept it and be flexible and be willing to change course. But it's okay to have off days. Every single person in the world does. And I think... It's very emotionally mature of you to recognize it and vocalize it. I appreciate that. I think fundamentally, even if you're in the perfect situation, then you might not always feel perfect. And I think the stigma surrounding that has to be taken down. Um, because fundamentally, it's always okay to not be okay. If you're not feeling like your best self at a given point, then it should be okay to vocalize that. Um, I think realistically, yeah, like, has this whole journey so far been an absolute dream? Yes, it has. Have we had a wonderful time? Yep, we truly have. And we do completely understand just how privileged we are in order to get to do this and certainly kind of call this our quote unquote job, even though we're definitely not getting paid for it yet. And so, like, that's not the point of what we're trying to say. We're not saying, woe is us. We're not saying, oh, we are so unfortunate, uh, because that's completely the opposite message. What we are trying to say is that even despite all of that, and you can still have hard days, in spite of the social media highlight reel that everybody sees, then like we all can feel off. And I think that just needs to be normalized and accepted. Yeah, and as you said, social media portrays one thing, and I don't want to show something that's unrealistic. When you're traveling, things are going to go wrong. And so that's why we decided to pick up the camera and be like, look, this wasn't what we expected it to be. We are taking a little bit of a break right now to regroup, but we will pull ourselves together and do something later. Yep. So we're going to go regroup off camera. lunch we came back to Mars Grill because it's cheap, the food is delicious, and we're creatures of habit when it comes to those kinds of things. I think when you're not feeling so great, it's also nice when you don't have to think about it. And because we've been here before, we just felt comfortable. So it was definitely the right choice. And we may come back here for dinner tonight because we spotted some more menu items that we want to try. So 
sorry for the lack of variety, but it's just the way it is. And to be fair, this is just a good place that you should come to if you're in El Nido anyway. I feel like at this point, we're actually experts at scoping out the cheapest local foods that are also really good. And I think that's what we have here. So you know how we said you have to be flexible when you travel? And that things don't always go your way? I think it's just that kind of day because it is pouring outside. Which, in all fairness, it is rainy season in the Philippines. And since we've been here, we have been so lucky. Because I think this is only the second time it's rained while we've been here. And the last time was on our first day in Corona. And that was for maybe half an hour. However, yeah, we came back after lunch for just a little bit of chill time before we then tried to head to this one particular beach called Las Cabanas. And the reason that we were planning on going was because apparently it has the most incredible sunsets. However, the heavens have since opened. They open for a solid like hour or two, which therefore just washes out any beach. It will take us quite a bit of time to get down there. It's an hour's walk. Exactly. And now that the beach is going to be super wet, then there's not really much of a point in us going because we just want to be able to enjoy it in the way that we'd like to. This all makes for a very boring video. I'm also a little bit disappointed because like we're out of time in El Nido mm -hmm. and I probably should have planned better to give us more days here, but okay. it's not what I did. Sometimes these things happen, and that's okay. And I wasn't expecting to have an off day. I was hoping to, like, you know, feel g'd up, and maybe we could have even like rented a scooter or something. But my, my anxiety kicked in hard, and that's put paid to that as well. So it's just one of those things. It sometimes it happens, and we just have to adapt. Yeah, this is real life. And another thing that's happened is our flight from Vietnam to Sydney. Which we've had booked for six months. Since before we left. Yeah. Has been canceled. Yeah. And so it was a flight that we paid for with points. We're gonna have to phone Aeroplan and see what our options are because we need to rebook something within the same one or two days because we already have a few things booked in Australia because it is gonna be their high season when we're there. Exactly. So we've got a very small window of opportunity in order to get down to Australia in the first place to make sure that we can get the full value of what we've got. So based on time zone, it's not the right time to be calling them just yet. We're going to have to do that in a few hours, but it's not really the way we want to spend our evening necessarily either. No, but we've already done some research and actually found two options as a replacement flight that we would be okay with making. So hopefully they can just make that adjustment without any problem for us. Exactly. But we will keep you posted. Hopefully the weather will clear up so that we can take you along to dinner as well. I feel like I don't want to say that out loud because are we jinxing it now? <laughs> Knock on wood. Knock on wood. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, let's, let's hope so because what we're planning on getting is pretty exciting. Yeah, more traditional but new. Filipino food. Mm -hmm. Going for a Filipino speciality here. This is called, I think it's either Kinalaw or Kinalao. Can't quite remember how it's pronounced. But essentially it is ceviche. And the clue's in the title, because apparently in Tagalog, it literally means eaten raw. So let's give it a try. Also ordered what is called squid adobo. 
typically it comes with chicken and coconut milk, but it's a mixture of garlic and soy and a bunch of other ingredients, but it's kind of the unofficial national dish of the Philippines. And this one's coming with squid, so super excited to give this one a go. That's really nice. The squid is cooked perfectly. The sauce is actually a bit richer than I expected it to be. I think it's quite, quite a thick soy sauce. And it's actually slightly sweet as well. Honestly, really good choice. After a delicious dinner, we have come back to the hotel because we have some serious business to take care of. I need to phone Aeroplan and figure out what's happening with our flight that got canceled. Wayne and I received an email today saying that my flight from Ho Chi Minh City to Sydney on December 26 has been cancelled. So after an hour and 40 minutes on the phone with Aeroplan, it is finally all taken care of and we actually couldn't have hoped for a better solution. We got a new flight on the same day, leaving from Ho Chi Minh City, going to Sydney. Yes, we now have a stopover in Singapore, but our flight is still in business class. I don't know if I mentioned that before, but the business class flight between Ho Chi Minh in Sydney is very affordable and since we had enough points we figured we'd treat ourselves and our previous flight was with a Vietnamese airline called Bamboo and this one is going to be with Singapore Airlines and I think we've just managed to upgrade ourselves on the business class experience because my understanding is Bamboo yes it's business class but it's not like what you'd expect from a major airline like Singapore and I've heard that their business class is amazing, so we're actually very excited about this. And yeah, it's managed to all work out, so ending the evening on a very happy note. But it is now just past 10 o'clock in the evening, so we are going to watch some Cougar Town, since that is our new show of choice, and we'll catch up with you in the morning. Good afternoon! From El Nido, we have had a pretty leisurely start to our morning because really the only thing on our agenda today is to get a van down to Puerto Princesa where the airport is. Our flight isn't until tomorrow, but because it is a five to six hour journey, then we need to make sure that we are down there because our flight is tomorrow morning at about 10.30 but then we have to be there at 8.30 and it's not like it's a 24 hour bus or anything. Exactly. These are minivans that you have to arrange. Precisely. But the cool news is because we're moving this means we're going to be in a new island about this time tomorrow which is super exciting. Trying to win a Grand Prix. 
Yeah, I was gonna say, we have another race car driver. I wouldn't even say the roads are bumpy, it's more that they're very windy. Yeah, which also doesn't help things. But yeah, so it's, um, it's a little bit intense. My constitution is not ironclad, and I'm being very much reminded of that right now. I'm feeling okay, fortunately. I'm sorry you're feeling Thank a little you. worse for wear. But it's been nice to get out and stretch our legs a little bit. Yeah, definitely having a nice break is good. Um, so yeah, hoping that having a bit of a rest along the way is going to help things. But yeah, if this is going to continue for the next two and a half hours, it might be uh, a little bit of a challenge. The van just dropped us off at the airport, but our flight is until tomorrow, so we're going to go find our accommodation instead. It should be about a 15 minute walk away from here. checked in. Even though it's just to rest our heads for one night, it actually looks pretty nice. And we got breakfast in the morning and a free lift back to the airport. So that's all looking up. And we'll look forward to all of that tomorrow. But until next time, take care. And keep smiling.